at this point, the Mario movie is definitely getting a sequel. The Mario movie has just been a runaway success. Most people could not have fathomed how much money it made, and yet it did. And that's because it's simple and fun. But with the Mario movie in our rearview mirror, many fans are asked, well, what's next for the Italian plumber? And, well, I mean, no one really knows. Nintendo is really keeping this close to their chest. I mean, obviously. I mean, we don't know if he's going to go on another globetrotting adventure, like on Super Mario Odyssey, or perhaps he will even stay within the walls of Peach's castle, and they'll have a whole movie revolving around like something like Super Mario 64. But I have pushed all of my chips onto one particular idea, and that is... Mario is going to boldly go where no other Mario has gone before. Yes, I believe that we are going to get a Super Mario Galaxy movie next. I mean, it, it makes sense. I mean, Nintendo needs to up the ante for the next film. That's obvious. And how better to do that than to send Mario into orbit, quite literally. <laughs> and for Mario to go into space makes sense because Super Mario Galaxy of all the Mario games had probably the deepest story which i mean is low-hanging fruit at this point but i mean that's just the way it is i mean if you want proof that this is a concept that may come into fruition mario galaxy is one of the most treasured games of all the mario games i mean i'm not i'm not putting any of them down they're all great but many fans including myself have a particular fondness for mario galaxy so for Nintendo to go in and kind of cash in on that nostalgia would only make sense. I mean, that's exactly what the Mario movie did. I mean, it cashed in on all of the 80s nostalgia for the original game, all the nostalgia for Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, and even all the way up to Super Mario Odyssey. So for them to go into orbit only makes sense. Now there's one character in particular that clues me into Mario's next adventure being in space, and that is the presence of Luma Lee. And as we all know, there's no Luma without Rosalina. And if Rosalina does show up in the sequel, then you know it's gonna take place in space. I mean, Rosalina is the space mama herself. I mean, we're, let's not lie here. And uh, I've gotta be honest, guys. I don't know if I'm ready for a character like that to show up on the screen. I mean, I am, but it's kind of a weird situation for me. Because now we all know how I feel about Peach's redesign in the Mario movie. And if Illumination could provide a glow up for like that for Peach, who is just kind of a basic character. I mean, not throwing shade against Peach's design, but she was always just kind of, you know, just there. It, nothing really stood out, but many fans, including myself, believe that Rosalina is a much more well-designed character, if you know what I mean. I mean, she was a fan favorite from the moment that she showed up on the screen, and Nintendo has not let go of her since. She's shown up in pretty much all Mario spin-offs, and was even included as a playable character in Super Mario 3D World. I mean, every game has featured her in some way or another so to disclude her from a mario from a future mario title just seems kind of stupid and with what illumination did to peach i don't know if i'm ready for that level of glow up for rosalina it, it might be too much for me to be honest like rosalina is already such a hot character how could they make her even more hot i mean they somehow did it with peach and holy crap, I, I, want, I want the illumination design of Peach to be Peach's design for the rest of Nintendo's reign. I, I, I mean that, to be honest. I mean, their design for Peach was perfect. I, I don't want anything to change. And if they can do the same level, if they can give Rosalina the same level of glow up that they gave with Peach, I don't know if my body can handle that. That, that might be too much for my little body to handle. And if they decide to go for like a Super Mario Galaxy approach, which I believe they do, 
then she will be a significant character. You know, chances are Mario will be separated from Peach and possibly be kidnapped by Bowser to witness the creation of his new galaxy or whatever. And Mario will end up on Rosalina's Comet Observatory and pretty much forced to help her out in order to repower her ship in order to go save Peach. I, I, I would imagine that's what they do. I'm going to be honest, guys. If they do indeed decide to take a Mario Galaxy approach, I actually kind of want Shigeru Miyamoto to take a step down and allow Yoshiaki Koizumi, the man who was responsible for Super Mario Galaxy, who was the director and also the man responsible for Rosalina's whole backstory and the reason why that game was so cinematic, I would want him to step up and be a producer for this next Mario film because I believe he would do Mario Galaxy more justice if he did. Not, not throwing shade against Shigeru Miyamoto. Again, he's a fantastic game designer, but his idea for storytelling involves no story. Let, let, let's be honest. Let's be honest here, guys. I mean, his track record kind of shows it, so. And I believe Koizumi-san would do a much better job of bringing Rosalina to the big screen. I believe so. And, I don't know, leave the, leave the artist to do their magic. I was genuinely surprised at what Illumination did with Peach, considering that this came from a studio who thought little yellow beans were a good character design. Let's be honest here, I think the Mario movie was probably Illumination's best work to date so far. I mean, it's their most well animated. It has the best character designs. I mean, all their all the characters in that movie were just were perfect and they did such a good job with bringing them to the big screen, you know, giving them more pop and emotion compared to their gaming counterparts. And that's quite a feat, you know, because already the characters were quite expressive. I mean, you don't even need to imagine at this point. I've, I've said it so much that Rosalina, bringing Rosalina in would just, it would put me over the top. I don't, I don't know how I would be able to handle that. That's why I think bringing on Yoshiaki Koizumi would be a good idea, you know? I mean, it would just more well round up her character. But what I'm ultimately saying is, if Nintendo and Illumination want a Mario Galaxy film to succeed, they have to nail Rosalina. And not in that way, not in that way. I don't mean that that way. What I mean is, they have to nail her character design, which I have no doubt that the artist at Illumination will do her justice. I mean, they, they took Peach and they made her hot again. So I believe they'll take Rosalina, who is already a goddess, and they'll make her into what I can only describe as a celestial being. She is going to be out of this world mind-blowingly hot. And that's my, and I believe that. But ultimately, when it comes to Rosalina, they also have to make sure that they get her character arc right. Make sure they convey that same emotional pain that we got with Super Mario Galaxy and her backstory. And that's why I believe that they should bring in Yoshiaki's Koizumi, because he was the one responsible for that. So, ultimately, yes, when it comes to Rosalina, her character's design is going to be out of this world good looking. There's no doubt about that. And they also have to get her character arc right. So, I mean, I'll say this right now. It would just be awesome to see her character present in the Mario movie and doing stuff. But if they really want to send that message home and make Rosalina a super relevant character again, then they got to do what they did in Super Mario Galaxy. And that's my thoughts on that, guys. If they make a Super Mario Galaxy movie, then they have to bring in Rosalina and they have to do her right. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think if they bring, if Nintendo decides to make a Mario Galaxy movie, what do you think they will do with it? And what do you think that they'll do with Rosalina's character? Hit me up in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.